All right, finally coming back to the YouTube. Got a little pre-workout meal. It's actually my first meal of the day, even though it's really late. So we're at a Mongolian barbecue spot. Some rice, beef, chicken, and my buddy here, Enrique. Probably getting down on his food. Can't even wait. Yeah. Well, he didn't know I was gonna record. In, in fairness, but uh. We get a little pre-workout meal, and then we got chest and arms today. And this gym's got some sick lighting, so uh, hopefully there's not too many people. And we'll see you on the inside. All right, guys. So we ate quite a lot. Um, so we're gonna stretch a little bit and then we'll get some footage. That's it. So full. What's up guys? Fatty Mancy here, your personal coach. Welcome back. Long time no talk. Uh, so in this video, we're hitting chest and arms and we've got a few tips for you guys that you guys might enjoy and might help you save your shoulders coming up in this video uh, but for starters we both began with flat bench press and we're going for three sets of six to seven on here and as you see it's fairly easy for Enrique we're, uh, we're getting his form right like starting to learn to hit the same spot on his sternum every time and as you can see um, it's flying up fairly easy uh, right here he wasn't hitting his chest and we're gonna get into it in a second on why and how we can make some adjustments I personally like to grip this a little bit outside of where I would normally do a bench press so for bench press in a little closer. For bench press, I normally like to put my ring finger right here. You just gotta get used to what's comfortable for you. For me, on incline bench press, you're trying to hit the top of your chest. So for me, I can't go as close as I go on bench and come down without my elbows and wrists being in line. So what I do, I go up a little bit wider. But we're doing the set right now anyways. So let me just demonstrate where I go on my chest. And same thing as a flat bench, I'm trying to come back without getting these rings. Right above your chest. Now, so we've done flat bench for um, three sets of six, good incline bench, a little lighter, good three sets of 12, and now we're gonna do incline dumbbell bench press because everybody likes a big upper chest. Enrique was just asking me about the flat dumbbell. Me personally, what I like to do is I like to put it all the way down. He's asking me, what are you asking? What's the difference? So what's the difference, so. It's gonna be different for everybody. I personally like to put it all the way down because it puts less strain on my shoulders, especially if you're hitting upper body twice a week. You're putting a lot of strain on your shoulders as is with like incline presses, shoulder work and whatnot. So this takes a lot of strain off my shoulders when I put it all the way flat and lets me concentrate more on that upper chest. Especially if you go heavy, right? Yeah, especially if you're going heavier, like the incline, any little miss groove, Good. Yeah, it gets heavily. Avoid injury. Fuck your shit up. <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna get on our first set. Going a little light today, so we're gonna be doing three sets of 12 at 70 pounds. Okay, guys, so as I just mentioned, when doing any incline type press, I like to put the bench all the way down, at least at the 24 hour fitness gyms. Uh, it restricts you from putting it past a certain point, so that's where I keep it because I feel the least amount of strain on my shoulders.
as you guys see here, Enrique takes a little bit of a wider approach as far as where his elbows go. And that works great for your upper chest, but me personally, I feel a lot of strain on my shoulder towards the ending reps. So I gave him my opinion and uh, had him try out the way I do, which is a slight tuck in my elbows. And he said he noticed the difference almost immediately. Uh, I did get a tutorial video. Like I said, guys, we've got a lot of good footage in, a lot of good tutorials coming up and uh, a lot of it got done this day so stay tuned for those uh, another video we did is is this one right here I'm doing incline flies a little bit differently and these I got from Joe DeFranco you're not able to do as much weight but you get a massive pump and again longevity of the shoulders saving our shoulders on these incline movements Alright guys, if I sound super loud, it's because I'm doing it on purpose. It's about midnight with Enrique, so we just finished up the workout. Got most of it recorded, got some good tutorials coming up. And, uh, and some, some other surprises come, but stopped by, the, uh, stopped by the gas station. I found these puppies, so they're, f what is it, freeze-dried apples. The whole bag, which is not much, but it's eight carbs for the whole bag. So if you find these anywhere and you feel like eating like a little kid, <laughs> these are great. PK got a, you got a, I just got Gatorade. You got a Gatorade? I'm still full. Limon. Limon. <laughs> He's still full. I'm hungry as always. That's going to conclude today's workout. We went through some tips. Anything you want to say to them that helped you or anything uh, new or got to speak up because uh, just <laughs> taught me how to keep the elbows tucked and then uh, go wider. Feels more comfortable on the on the incline. On the incline, yeah. Because I was being short, so like it felt weird. Yeah. So I went out more, and it helped me out a lot. Felt cool. comfortable. Yeah, I think um, the issue was you were coming in too close. So yeah. what happened is his his elbow and his wrist were not aligned, so he couldn't get down to his chest. Anyways, guys. My car wash is done. That's gonna, gonna conclude this video. I gotta go because the dryer is going and they only give me a certain amount of time. I'll see you guys on the next video.